um, is there anything you want for yourself? <laughs> anything you really desire? Or? Well, what I have fun with is um, openness with people and when people are open and fun, like things have got between us yeah. now. Before it was mind and head, and now we just float together like mm. uh, deep brotherly friendship. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I love that around. And I don't really need people in my... I don't, I don't really need anything. I like to be comfortable, or at least I don't like to be uncomfortable. Mm. So that floats around. But generally, life just keeps you know, coming along. Before I realize I need something, it comes along with it. Well, you said in the past, oh, you wanted to meet the masters in the Himalayas, mm. and, you, and well, it seems like... And I, we did, yeah. yeah. I think somebody came and appeared right on my doorstep in a remote part of the world. Mm, mm. Yeah. So, it's just, and again, it's, I think it's the most important message I can think is, and I think one that can actually, well, save the world, may bring peace, is to be with what is as it is in the moment without yeah. reacting. Yeah. Yes, just, yeah, be, being free in each moment, yeah. Being free. 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 Okay. Now the, and, to, <clears throat> you know, I've read also in some books that somehow the mind was an artificial construct to keep us separate from life, that we think about life. I see it, that it was to keep us physically intact in this mm. dimension. And it took over. Yes. Well, we overfed it. We overfed it. Yeah. And I want to ask why. Well, why am I like that? Why did that happen? But you say... It doesn't matter why. No. You know, we've got libraries of philosophy, but it doesn't make any difference. It's how are you going to live your life? Not the reason, not why. Why are you here? What are you here for? It doesn't matter. It's, you are here. This is it. What's the maximum potential of your life? What's the possibility in each moment? Not, am I going to be a great this or a great that? No, no. It's in each moment. What's the maximum potential of this, this? very possibility, right now, in this moment. Well, that's the key to what you're teaching or talking about, is maximum potential in this, this moment. moment. And we don't know what that is, but you're saying, if I understand, that the, that maximum potential, if we're present to what is, will arise in us. It just keeps coming up. The divine, or whatever source, whatever connection we have to our source, will, will direct us to the right Thing to eat, to wear, to talk, to be with. Right. And it's trusting. And it just keeps flowing like that. It just keeps. And you've said it's a knack. Somehow you, somehow you get the knack of that flow. You've got to get the knack of disconnecting from listening to the mind that gives you uh, information that's not relevant to the moment. Now, if it says there's a truck coming, mm -hmm. that's relevant to the mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. Step back onto the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. You're back on the sidewalk. You're healthy. What's the maximum? Oh, somebody attractive went by. Oh, so there's something in the window you want to look at. Mm. You're suddenly aware that the moon or the sun is shining. Mm. Is just keep being there. Keep, somebody needs some assistance. Mm. Somebody needs some money. Was there a moment that happened for you where you got it? Because I know you've read all the books and heard all the philosophy. Was there a moment when you really got it? You know, I don't remember. I, I remember <laughs> things coming for a while and disappearing, mm. but I don't remember that moment. And again, it's irrelevant. It's like right. it's happening now. That's the main thing. 